Hello, welcome once again to Stuff and Things, where I like to discuss stuff and occasionally even things. I'm your good friend Bradley, and today I am loading up a little bit of Elizabethan mixture into one of my favorite pipes, putting one of my favorite tobaccos into one of my favorite pipes, my Peterson Deluxe. I can always forget what this is. Is this a 6S? 106? 6S, yes, Deluxe 6S. Lovely, nice little straight billiard. You might have seen the video I posted wherein I received this pipe, gave it a nice cleaning. I always like to give a good cleaning to a estate pipe. You never know what in the world has been done with it before it came to you. Sticking it God knows where. Anyway, just loading up a bowl. I've been running around all day today. Also trying to get some videos done. I've been recording videos, reviews for the ZLYC products that were sent to me by ZLYC, that satchel slash camera bag, and then the set of um, standard size and passport size tr Midori Traveler's notebook style notebook slash journals slash whatever they called them. The product descriptions or just the product titles on the ZLYC Amazon.com storefront are sort of hilariously long. And wouldn't you know it, I forgot my lighter. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Let me get a little more comfortable here. That'll do it. Mm. Yeah, that's good. My first pipe today. Didn't have a morning pipe, didn't have time. That's saying something for a weekend day. Don't have to talk about the Seahawks because they're not playing this weekend. They played on Thursday and they won. Hooray! Yes, they beat San Francisco, who are not great this year. Um, it looked like the game that I've been waiting for, kind of a complete game, a complete performance, doing pretty well on offense and defense. Russell Wilson did two, had two interceptions, though, which is kind of frightening. Um, and he still got sacked way too much, especially for a San Francisco team that has no pass rush whatsoever. He still got sacked. So it did not put my fears to rest by any means, but it was nice to see 20 to, or 20 to three, pretty definitive win. Um, I have my little book here. I've been writing things down throughout the weeks, week, since last week, whatever. And the one thing, I haven't really been annoyed by anything lately on my Sunday smokes, and I know some a certain percentage of the audience enjoys that when I get worked up. Usually, you should know, if I get all worked up in one of my videos, I'm probably not taking it that seriously. I'm probably putting it on a little bit. But one thing that occurred to me today that drives me absolutely insane, I'm, I'm someone who very much enjoys um, common courtesy or politeness. And even though it doesn't necessarily mean that the person with whom you're interacting is feeling what they are expressing through their actions, I still appreciate the effort made to, you know, just uh, if someone drops something on the ground and you're standing next to them, it's, it's nice and polite to pick it up for them. There you are. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. It was my pleasure. Or if you're at the grocery store and someone's trying to get by, you move to the side and say, oh, there you are. You say, excuse me, as you're approaching someone and you want to get by. Just common courtesy, things like that. And I'm very much into that. I practice that on a daily basis, always. I'm always courteous to people. And I think it just, it breeds a nice, even if it's fake, even if it's complete bullshit, it makes people at least, it, at least it makes your day-to-day -day existence more pleasurable than if everyone were just behaving towards you the way they may be feeling, if that makes any sense. This coffee is very old. But 
I was reminded of this today because I live in an apartment building. Now you could make jokes about me being a loser if you want, but I enjoy my building. I like the building I live in. By the way, the Stuff and Things Studios is not necessarily where I live. A lot of people make that assumption, but anyway, in my apartment building, it's a lot of younger people. Um, probably, Arnold, there aren't many people above the age of 40, I would think, within my building. It's an older building. It's kind of a cool, um, well-maintained and restored building. It's over 120 years old. It's cool. I like it. But there seems to be a tendency within this building to never, ever hold the door for me when I'm trying to enter. Even when I'm carrying huge bags, like grocery bags, I, I don't make trips. I won't make uh, multiple trips. I just got, I don't know how this happened, but I have ash everywhere. I don't, uh, if I go to the grocery store and I have a bunch of grocery bags, I refuse to just carry a reasonable amount up the stairs and then come back for the rest. I will load myself down like a camel owned by a Bedouin marching across the desert. I will have a ton of crap on me and I will carry it with me. It's, it's a ridiculous amount of things, but I will always carry all, all of it at once. I will approach the back door. Invariably, there will be someone entering. The back door, you have to use a key. The front door, there's a code that you can punch in, but the back door is a key. There is a, a way to prop the door open, if you like, for other people who are coming in, or you could hold the door, you could prop it, you could hold it, you could do anything. Nobody ever does an anything. They can see me coming, loaded down uh, like a madman, with all these bags, no hands free whatsoever. And every freaking time, I could be two feet behind them. I could even have said hello to them. They will look at me, they will open the door, unlock it, and just let it slam closed right in my freaking face. Every time. I have never once had anyone hold the door open for me the entire time I have lived in that building. It is maddening. And I always hold the door open for people. If I, let's say I parked my vehicle, I'm getting out, lock the door, approaching the back door. And if I see someone just pulling in to the parking lot, I will prop the door open for them, knowing that they're going to be entering the building. If I see somebody getting out of their car and they're starting to approach, even if they're a long way off, even if it means I have to wait a little bit, I will hold the door open every single time. Nobody else ever does it. I don't know what that says about our society. I don't know what that says about the people living in my building, but it's annoying. I'm like that when I'm out and about as well. If somebody's behind me and I'm entering a, a business, an establishment, a cafe, whatever, I will always hold the door open for whoever it is, male, female, whatever. I'll always hold the door. And I get that more out in public. People are pretty polite in general around here in this region of the country. But for some reason in that building, they will not hold the door open. Bastards. I acquired some uh, interesting tobacco recently. Let me just show you the bag here. If I, can. I have a piece of blue tape on it. Ignore that. Ooh. Those of you who are pipe smokers will understand why this is exciting. This is an eight ounce bag, or it was an eight ounce bag. I took most of it out and put it in jars of Penzance by Esoterica. This is, a, this is one of those blends that if you're first getting into pipe smoking, you'll hear about certain blends that are often considered like the apotheosis of, of a certain type, like the best English flake, the best vapor, the best whatever. And the Penzance by Esoterica is often considered one of the best Englishes, Englishes that you could get. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that Esoterica tobaccos, I'm not going to be telling anyone something. Wow, wow. Let's, let's complete a sentence here. I'm not going to be telling some of you or many of you anything you don't already know, but Esoterica is produced by um, Germain and they are a pretty small tobacco company in the British Isles. And it's hard to get even just the, the standard Germain branded brand blends, but the Esoterica stuff is very limited. And 
I don't know if it is an artificial, an artificially limited product. I'm assuming that it's just because they're such a small blender and they don't have a lot of capacity really. So there, there isn't a lot of this Esoterica tobacco put out on a yearly, monthly, whatever basis. And as anyone who has ever taken an economics class can tell you, scarcity breeds demand. And these Esoterica tobaccos are always in high demand. And so I always have these standing orders on smokingpipes.com um, to be alerted whenever they get any Esoterica tobaccos in. And invariably, I'll be working or something and I don't check my phone, I don't check my email, and then when I do check it, I'll see an alert. Oh, we have Penzance, we have Margate, we have Dunbar. One of the Esoterica blends that I've been looking to get, and of course, as soon as I log in to smokingpipes.com, they're already sold out. Well, one day in particular, my during, was it last week? I guess it must have been last week. I managed to just randomly check my phone one minute after the alert for Penzance being in stock was sent out. And it was actually for the 50 gram tins, not the eight ounce bag. And I immediately was like, okay, four tins. I grabbed some other, they're having a Dunhill sale as well right now. So I grabbed some other Dunhill things and I put in my card information. It was on my phone, hit purchase, and then the page just reloaded. And there was nothing saying like your card has been denied or anything was wrong. It just reloaded as though I hadn't done anything. So I was like, what the hell is this? I tried it again, did the same thing. And then I was freaking out thinking, okay, these Penzance tins are gonna go very, very quickly. There's no way I'm gonna get one if I, if I keep having to hassle with this. And is my card just being charged over and over and over again? So then I had to call smokingpipes.com. They have amazing customer service, by the way. You can pretty much always speak to a real human if you call during business hours. Asked him what was up. He said that there was something wrong with the uh, um, expiration date on my card or something, and because big fat fingers trying to plug this into my phone and they were already sold out of the tins, but he managed to get me this eight ounce bag of the Penzance. So I'll have enough to last me quite a while. I'm gonna put four ounces away, just let it age. Another four ounces I'm gonna smoke. And so there will be a review of Penzance coming eventually. I won't say exactly when, within the coming weeks. But it's already evening. I'm actually recording this Saturday instead of Sunday. I hope you don't mind if I'm cheating. But uh, I'm gonna go make some dinner. I'm gonna get together with a few friends. Gonna have a few drinks. Try to enjoy the rest of my Saturday evening. And I hope you guys enjoy your Sunday. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your good friend Bradley. You have been the audience. This has been Stuff and Things on a Pleasant Sunday Smoke. Good day.